Hello and welcome to this tutorial on adding reference images to our file in Blender. My name is Hayden Falson from FalsonFantasy.com and let's get to it. Reference images are quite self-explanatory. They're images that we use in the 3D software as a reference for our models. If you are not in the habit of creating reference images for your creations, I would put it to you to maybe try a couple. They don't have to be fantastic, but it's always good to have an idea of what you're making in the software. The reference images that you just saw on the screen are the ones that I'll be using and they are of a character that I have for an up and coming animation that will be uploaded onto my Fowls on Fantasy channel. To make this demonstration more clear, I'm going to del delete the cube and then we're going to press Shift A to bring up our add menu and we're going to go down to image. Then we're going to select reference. With reference selected, we'll be given a pop-up window that will allow us to select which image we would like for the reference to show. I'm gonna select this one. Upon loading it in, you'll notice that it is at a weird angle. And that is because it uh, orients itself so that it is perpendicular to the view. So it's always facing the view that we created the image at. So say that we wanted to create an image that is facing our front orthographic view. If we press one on the numpad, will be instantly snapped into our front orthographic view, which will be denoted by the text on our left top hand of our screen. We can then create our reference image while in this view. But let's say we've already created our image and it's at a weird angle like this. We can easily fix this by selecting it and then pressing N to bring up our transform toolbar. And then we can just fix the rotational values. So if we just turn these all to zero, and then change the, uh, the X axis rotation. See, as you can see, the X axis is horizontal to our plane. So that means it will be rotated up or around that axis. And if we make that 90 degrees, it will be facing the front. So instead of taking the long way to create our side orthographic one, let's just go into the side by pressing three on the numpad. And then we're gonna press Shift A to bring up our add menu. And then we're going to go to image and then reference. So as you can see, it's created our image so that it is facing our side orthographic view. So when we look at this from the front now, we'll see our front view. And when we look at it from the side by pressing three, we'll see our side view. And then through the magic of editing, I've already added my perspective view as well. Now with so many reference images, in our scene, you may notice a problem. And that being that they're very cluttered and, well, you can't really see anything. So their usefulness as reference images has been reduced drastically. So to fix this, we're going to navigate to our object data. And for my perspective reference image, I'm going to check off display orthographic. And what that will do is whenever I am in orthographic mode, it will not be displayed. So as you can see, if I'm in front orthographic, it's no longer on, but if I turn it back on, you could see it. So it just helps declutter it when we're in the views that we want. So with the other two that are in orthographic mode, I'm gonna make sure that they are not displayed in perspective. So I'm gonna uncheck display perspective for both my front and my side. Now, when I'm in perspective mode, I can only see my perspective reference image, which is exactly what we want. So we've decluttered it, but there's still a few more things that we can do. Now, if I was to create a you know, basic cube in here, as I would to begin my modeling process, you'll notice that it's a bit difficult to see what's underneath the cube. Now, this is a very easy fix. We'll just click on our reference image, make sure it's an object data tab, and I'll change the depth from default to front. So now our reference image is going to be shown above my cube. So we're going to do that now for all the reference images. And we can also change the transparency just so it's not too overwhelming. This is just in case your reference image isn't lines and could be a filled in object. And there we go. Very, very, very simple. And the best thing is because these reference images aren't, well, objects per se, they're more empties they will not be rendered in the final render. Now that we have a very basic reference image set up, we can now organize our scene collection just a little bit, just so it's easier. So we can name our images, so front, side, and perk. 
for perspective. And then we can also create a new collection. And what this collection will allow us to do is essentially make them visible or invisible with the press of a button. So I'll just select them all and drag them into that new collection. So now, whenever I press the eye icon, I can just get rid of them really quickly. So this just makes it a lot more easy than, you know, going through all of them and pressing the eye icon. You don't have to worry about making sure that it's not going to be rendered in the final render because they are all empties and they will not render. So there we have it. This has been a very, very basic tutorial on setting up a basic scene with references. So I hope that it has helped you. If it has, be sure to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button. Also, if you're not aware, my website tutorial section is up and running. So you can now view my videos and tutorials on this page of my website. So it just makes it a bit more convenient for sorting through the different sections and categories of my tutorials. So right now we've got Blender 2.8 tutorials and 2.79 world machine and music tutorials. So it just makes it very easy to navigate, but just an alternate way that you can view my content. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it has helped. My name is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com, signing off.